This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build an online presence. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, you have found yourself on the Hannah Morris Bouldering channel and I excuse my appearance. I'm fresh out of the shower, but I just wanted to give this video a little, uh, a little context, a little introduction, if you will, because I figured it needed it. Um, the footage that you are about to watch is was filmed with my good friend B, who is a climbing coach. She just knows climbing movement inside out and is very good at describing how to climb well. When I filmed with B, we filmed um, like a tips and techniques video. We filmed a few, but the most recent one, there was some footage that didn't quite make the cut, but when I was looking back over it recently, I figured that it is still really valuable and I didn't want B's knowledge to be lost. So without further ado, I hope that you enjoy watching B climb some more climbs that didn't make the original cut and I'll see you in my next video. I have lots of exciting videos planned. So, all good. Now you can watch B climb rather than listen to me talk. Uh, oh, I could have a little rest. I know, I'll rest my arms and try this ridiculous yellow over here. Have you seen anyone do this? So I was working it with Ted Lowe's the other day and worked out the beta and I'm tickling the bottom of this hold. And I think, and I know, it was maybe just a little bit more push off my left foot. I've got to get, there's got to be more in me. So the start, this was hard enough. <laughs> it's uh, it kind of feels like I must have more somewhere and I know my foot could be placed better but I'm so stuck in that position that it feels like the more I move the more I'm likely to fall off so I'm not quite getting the optimum position but it's so much fun it's uh, so close but even when you catch that it's not over the top bit's fine it's is once you've caught that, so say I've, I don't think I can even get into the position, but say I've got to that, you're still then like stuck like this. And unless you go bomb again, or bomb, it's uh, pretty, pretty wild when you're like starfish to the max. Might try it one more go, because that felt closer than the other day. Quick brush. So the thing that felt really interesting about this one was the hip positioning around this hold. I realized if I tried to go over it, it didn't work. So I had to stay really low, shift my hips underneath it to then keep the balance to then go up. So it was quite an interesting hip movement as well. painfully close but also really quite far right I'm happy I've rested yeah. basically a rest yeah. <laughs> I know yeah. we could do something just a little bit more gentle there's a lovely climb around the back that I was um, doing some techniques with a client on with the other day that was pretty cool So we're on this black and looking at the combination of turning something steep into a slab and it's a really nice example of when you would use uh, like your flag in and your drop knees versus when do we turn that into setting the base for like rocking over onto a slab so it had a really nice a nice combo 
quite comparatively gentle climb, but still some really interesting holds and moves. Um, yeah, so we're looking at making sit starts as easy as possible. So often they make you feel like your hips are coming really far away from the wall. So we were looking at how can we kind of cheat our way through this first move to make it a little bit easier off a bad hold. And I believe we established that either getting the hips as close to the wall as we could, could then get us there without really having to bend at all, or using a bit of a smear and like a bumping up. And it just worked really nicely with some flags, I seem to remember. Can't remember where it went now. Oh yeah, and then we were... Oh, there's a foothold there. Set in the base. Yeah, it's a really nice combo of Love that climb. Really cool. Um. So between climbs, I wanted to have a quick word from the sponsor of this video, which is once again, Squarespace. I have loved working with Squarespace, not only to maintain my online presence, in the form of my blog, but also to build an online shop. Something that I really love about Squarespace is they make it really easy to integrate all of the different elements of your brand or business or content together all in one. So for example, in my blog posts, I can have links out to my YouTube channel. I can have links through to my storefront. I can add pictures. I can add audio. I can add my social links. It just really feels like a kind of central hub to keep your content and your creations together. So if you are in the market for a website or an online store, if you head to www.squarespace.com and then when you are ready to launch, use the unique code Hannah Morris for 10% off your purchase of a website or domain. <laughs> ready for some campusing? In stark contrast. <laughs> so to reinforce the theory of as much as I'm constantly teaching that it's all about the base, that it's all about efficiency, I love campusing. It's super fun. It's what we all enjoy doing. Well, some of us enjoy doing. But because I love doing that, I want to be able to save as much energy as possible wherever I can, so that when that, either that move comes up or where that is the only option, I've got the power and I've got the energy to be able to do that. So this red is a nice example of where I do have to do a little bit of campusing on some poor pinches, but then when I'm really tired near the top, I have to try and use the volumes as well as I can by getting my centre of gravity over my feet, because uh, there's another really scary last move. Oh no, oh, I'm feeling slippy on that. But yeah, quite powerful the most of it. But then as soon as I can, using that volume for that heel to try and take the weight off coming into that pinch. When I did this one, I said I'd never do it again, so I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> Maybe I'll try it one more time. Come on. 
hands are slipping. <laughs> oh, my hand was peeling off that hole. We'll give you that. That was fun. I'll take, that. <laughs> take that as a hot day repeat. Yeah. Oh, good times. Always good to have some <laughs> massive swinging from the top fails. Amazing. Okay. Happy with that. If you liked that video, please do like it. And if you regularly watch videos on this channel and you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe. So I was looking through my analytics the other day and it's something like 80% of views overall on this channel are from people who aren't subscribed. So if you do like my content and would like to subscribe, then please do because it makes, well, I just suppose it makes me feel good about myself. But yeah, um, if not, then give this video a like or drop me a comment because that also helps and I'll see you in the video.